First of all, I would like to greet each and every one of you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We would like to thank God for giving us this privilege that we can come to your home and to talk to you this very time. I'd like to thank God also for bringing his servant, Reverend Dr. Joshua Paul, to this program to discuss the, the very need of the hour, and that is we hear about the news about satanic worship. Thank you, Pastor, for your time. Thank you. And thank you for this, uh, just what you're going to share. I believe it will bring deliverance to people, mm. healing to the souls, to the families, mm. Mm. even to the society. Yeah. We are hearing terrifying news in the newspaper like this one, yeah. saying a satanic worship, mm. worshipping the devil. Yeah. And I believe these people are being entrapped, they are mm. being enticed mm. by someone. Mm. that they can come to practice such a thing as this. And uh, what is your, your view upon this? What is the reason actually? Yeah, Satan has been always working and Jesus said, you know, John 10.10, 10, Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. And even in the Gospels we read Paul warning, uh, beware of the demonic worship, satanic worship. So it has always been there, but uh, in India it was all hidden and they were doing underground and now they are doing it more open, more publicly. And uh, I believe the young people are being enticed by Satan, you know, so that they can receive more power. The young people are hungry for power, young people are hungry for attention, young people want quick success, uh, instant money and they want to become popular. You know, uh, Satan went to Jesus and said, if you bow to me, I will give you the whole world. Mm -hmm. So he is doing the same thing to this young generation. You just bow to me and do what I tell you to do. I will give you the world. But Satan cannot give the world. Satan cannot give peace. Satan cannot give prosperity. It is only Jesus who said, I have come that you may have peace, life and joy and happiness. So, satanic worship is becoming more prevalent in the metropolitan cities, not only in India but around the world. It is more open, more public and it looks like uh, 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 something which the society says that is okay and they keep to it. But they do not know the, the outcome of it, the result of it. Satan, the more, you, more and more you welcome Satan, the more and more he is going to bring destruction. Just now you heard a phone call from someone saying that a young child Young, young teenage, boy. young boy, right? It's committed suicide. So, yeah. who, 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 who will make the people commit suicide? God gives life. Satan takes life. He wants to kill the young people. Mm -hmm. He wants to take them, uh, he wants to, them to take drugs, uh, alcohol and, uh, and uh, drive rashly and, uh, and uh, no steal. And he wants the young children to be, uh, you know, criminals. And uh, as parents, as, as, as the people uh, watching this, they should be aware that Satan is real and he is very much active and he works 24 by 7, unpaid worker working to bring evil and to destroy the young people. And it is he who is making these young people commit suicide. If we take it light, it will be from somebody who is very close to us, known to us, mm -hmm. you know, who will be trapped by the enemy. Parents are worried, the yeah. society is worried, the government, the police are worried. So what is the solution? Yeah, see, when it comes to demon possession, the children, when they open up, the, the way they get demon possessed is very simple. They listen to demonic music. So that is the reason. That is the reason. Mm -hmm. They listen to uh, heavy metal music, satanic music mm -hmm. like Iron Maiden or Lady Gaga or, or, or uh, Deep Purple, Pink Rihanna. Floyd, uh, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are so many latest ones. These are the, the old ones. People, yeah, ACDC, yeah, Antichrist, the Devil's Children. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, when they listen to all this music, they do not know, the children, they think it's only music, it's only talent, it's only art. But before those albums are published, they offer the uh, albums to Satan. They offer blood sacrifice mm -hmm. to Satan, asking the Satan to, to, to come upon those CDs and whoever listens, the, the enemy, the devil is transferred to, into, as they are listening, the devil enters into them and uh, uh, there is something called uh, back masking. As you play those steps backward, it says, Satan, I worship you, I commit myself 
I commit suicide, I will die for you. Those are the words that come in the back masking. If the same tapes which are being played by reverse direction. Yeah. So Satan actually wants to trap the people through music. First, Mus of all. First of all, music is a gift given by God to bring, to come to Him. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a form that God has given us, music, singing, dancing, shouting. It's an it's a expression, expressing ourselves of gratitude to God. Psalms, the biggest book in the Bible, mm. all about music, all about singing, all about uh, dancing, celebrating. So when we do not offer the people the right kind of worship, people look for false worship. When we don't use these instruments to bring glory to God, the Satan uses the young people to bring glory to himself. Mm -hmm. So satanic worship, when they listen to satanic music, when they listen to this music, the demons enter into the body, provokes them to commit suicide, provokes them to commit crime, provokes them to attack and they become perverse, deviant and becomes uh, a big problem. Now, these kind of cases cannot be solved. You cannot take the demon possessed to a, to a doctor and say, can you cast out the demons? The doctor cannot. They would love to, but they are not taught to how to cast out demons. Now, I have a master's degree in psychiatry okay, and, and, uh, and a master's in social work. And uh, I come across so many demon possessed, I cast them out in the name of Jesus. And the doctors asked me, how did you do that? I said, there is a God Almighty, heaven. He has given us the power to cast out demons. Mm. So, I have seen so many policemen bring uh, demon possessed children and we pray for them. We have open air meetings and the government officials, they, they ask, can you please help our young children to, to come out of the wrong ways, to come to the right ways. Mm. So, the educational system or the police or the government or sometimes even the churches, do not know, they have enough problem for themselves. So, where will they go and cast out demons? They have not been equipped, they have not been taught, they have not been trained to cast out demons. One third of the ministry of Jesus, Bantai, was casting out demons, healing mm -hmm. the sick. Then, he also preached and taught, demonstrated. Not only preach. Not only preach, mm -hmm. not only teach. So, every person who preaches the gospel need to demonstrate that Jesus is real, need to cast out demons, need to heal the sick and need to demonstrate the power of God. When people watch this, they believe that this gospel is real, this God is real and, and what you are saying is real because our children are delivered from evil spirit, our family is being healed of sickness. Now, this God is a good God, he is a healer, he is a deliverer, he is a savior, he is a baptizer in the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a missing dimension in the church. Since we do not do all these things, Children are looking for power, supernatural power, other than the Holy Spirit, they go to the evil spirit. If this is just a tip of the iceberg, there is much more. And in the days to come, it is going to become from bad to worse. So, it is time, Bantai, that the people of Shillong take it seriously and do something about it. What is your advice to parents? And My advice to parents is, you know, come to Jesus, pray, ask Jesus, I don't want my children to go into the wrong direction and I want my children to be safe. Not only you pray for your children, you pray for other children. As parents, you, if you find your son or a daughter uh, uh, involved in something unnatural, unusual and, 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 and supernatural like uh, dabbling with a Ouija board or a satanic worship, black candles uh, and listening to music and uh, addicted to pornography, addicted to uh, videos, addicted to video games. Uh, addicted to nonsense, you just ask, you know, take some serious counsel, take some serious measures, bring them to prayer. If you do not want to bring them to prayer, you pray for them, God will answer your prayer. Repent and be baptized, Bible says, you be, receive the Holy Spirit and you can pray, but you definitely cannot do it all by yourself. You need serious help. You need somebody who can help them, counsel them. It is not just prayer, it is not just reading the Bible, it will cast out demons. You need to be equipped, you need to be taught, you need to bring them and you need to treat them. Like how you have a sickness, you take them to the doctor. They, 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 they do not give one injection and say your problem is solved. No, you have to go for a prognosis, diagnosis, you know, there is a treatment, procedure. Mm -hmm. It is a surgery, you need to go for a surgery. Mm -hmm. So, so serious it is also in the spirit realm. What is your, uh, your message to the people who are still practicing this belief? Well, for those people who are, who are thinking it is okay, it is fun, it is entertainment, uh, it is just for, we do not care for our life. You know, Bible clearly says, I want to read one scripture, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jesus warned us very clearly in the second epistle of Paul, 
the apostle to Timothy. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. These are the perilous, dangerous, mm. terrible times. Mm. We are on the last of the last days. And this is a warning. This is an alarm. Alarm bell of heaven. This is a warning from heaven. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, and boasters, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control. This is where they are. They go out of control. They become brutal. They become despisers. Third chapter, verse 1 to 4, 5, it goes on. Okay. Verse uh, 4 says, they, shall be, they will be traitors, headstrong, proud, arrogant, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the form of godliness, but deny the power, and from such people turn away. It says they have the form of God. There are people who, who have, who have, who, who look like they're very spiritual. They read the Bible. They pray. They, 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 they are, they are there in all the prayer meetings. But, but they are trapped. They are doing all these things. They are proud. They are never, they never want to change. Never want to repent. And uh, the Bible wants, uh, in the very clearly, you know, verse twelve says, all those who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Verse thirteen. Evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Verse 13, yeah. very clear. Evil yeah. men and imposters, false people. Imposters means false people, hi hypocrites who call themselves prophets, but they are false prophets, who call themselves teachers. They teach, they preach the Bible, but they don't have the power of the Holy Spirit to cast out demons, to heal the sick. Or to bring people to repentance, they want to use the they use the pulpit to control the people. They use the pulpit to co uh, control people in a system. Mm. So uh, Jesus said, "You shall know them, the true people from the false, by the fruit, not by the gift. They may be gifted people, but they 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 be false." I'll just read one more scripture, which will, which which we understand that the Bible clearly tells that these are last days and. God has already warned 2,000 years ago. This is 1 Timothy 4th chapter, verse 1. Now, the Holy Spirit expressly says, now, now is the season now. I like the breeze, I like the wind. The wind is blowing in Shillong. The Holy Spirit is wind. Amen. The Holy Spirit wind is blowing. I can hear the sound of rain, sound of abundance, sound of prosperity. It's not that only the devil is doing what he wants to do. When the devil does his maximum, God will show his minimum power. That's Amen. the funniest part. Wow. God has given Great. certain time, certain power. Devil is not omnipotent. Yes. And devil is not omnipresent. He cannot be in ten places in one time. Mm -hmm. You know, the moment he goes to Bangalore to attack me, he says, oh, he finds I'm missing there. I'm in Shillong. By the time he catches the flight and comes here, I move to another country. So devil is not omnipresent. You know, <laughs> the Bible, Jesus said, now the Holy Spirit expressly says, 4th chapter verse 1, that in the later times, some will depart from the faith. Wow. It's clear. Yes. Some will depart from the faith, mm -hmm. faith that has been given to them by the, by the forefathers, by the pastors, mm. giving heed to deceiving spirits, mm. doctrines of demons. Now, mm -hmm. Paul writes this to the church. Yes. To the church, not yes. to unbelievers, people who never heard the gospel. He writes to the Christians. Because these people who are worshipping, most of them are Christians. They are all, all these young people yeah. are people who come to church every day yeah, and yeah. they don't see power. They don't see healing. They're not being touched. They're not being saved. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're empty. They look for, they're hungry for a touch of God. Mm -hmm. Hungry for the power of God. Since you do not give them what they want, they look for it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. One day there's a Russian proverb. It says, if you refuse food, the people will gobble poison. I mean, mm -hmm. they will eat anything available. If you don't give them bread, I know some. The, 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 there was a man who was so hungry. Uh, uh, he he didn't. He came home. There was no food. He opened the fridge. He opened look the cupboard. He saw some stale bread, old bread. He was so hungry. He ate the poisoned bread, and he was hospitalized. Mm -hmm. So if you don't give people the fresh bread of heaven, they will eat the poison. Mm. So, who are to be blamed? We are to be blamed. Yes. We have to give them the power of the Holy Spirit. We have to give them the living word. We have to give them the current word, the present word. What is God telling today? Not some notes which I got it from the Bible college 20 years back. Mm. That's not going to help. Notes is not going to save people. Exactly. Right? So, it mm. clearly says, 
they will depart from the faith mm. giving heed to deceiving spirits mm. i mean giving heed they listen, listen to the yeah. voice of the yeah. deceiving spirit so we understand the demons enter through the ears mm -hmm. okay deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons here it is demonic worship satanic yeah. worship it's yeah. very clearly mm -hmm. warning speaking lies having their own conscience uh, of uh, you know seared with hot iron and then it goes on and on and on and on so it's very clear the bible says in the last days there will be a heightened demonic worship satanic worship and demons from hell will be released on earth when these young people they do not know what they are doing they are they are good christians they are all christians looking for power since they could not get the power of the yes. holy spirit mm -hmm. they go in the wrong direction can the devil fake the anointing yes he can very much i know i've seen people who are demon possessed also can speak in tongues also can heal the sick also can give experiences which look like genuine but it's not genuine it's false how can we uh, you know yeah. identify them or distinguish, distinguish them, them yeah. the, let's say for example have you ever seen a, a 300 rupee note bantai no. in no why there is no mm. there is no original therefore there is no fake mm -hmm. have you seen a a uh, duplicate 500 rupee note yes yes mm. why because there is original there is duplicate so there is a genuine original experience in the holy spirit mm. supernatural I, i get high with the most high god mm. you know when i am drunk in the holy spirit i am intoxicated i am drunk in the holy spirit i am filled with joy kingdom of god is not eating and drinking mm. but righteousness peace joy in the holy spirit the holy so holy spirit gives us joy holy spirit gives us a, 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 a fun entertainment our god is a happy god mm. he's not a sad god yes okay but the point is people go for satanic worship or or look for altars to give them entertainment uh, is because satan wants to kill steal and destroy them destroy. he doesn't want to let them go how do we distinguish between the original and the duplicate if you take a rupee note there is a if you go to the bank there's a picture over there says how to distinguish the fake note from the original note mm. okay in the same way we need to go back to the bible bible is basic instruction before leaving right. earth mm. it gives us a manual if you buy a mobile it comes with a manual mm. we don't read it we just throw it away but when we do not know how to handle the mobile we fidget it's not working hey where's the manual yeah, where's the, right. how to troubleshoot this problem any mm. appliance comes with a manual mm. and when we are created by god god sent the manual the bible yeah, he yeah. sent emmanuel to tell us about the manual the word of god <laughs> but yeah. we don't want to listen. <laughs> we just throw the bible we use we take the bible only on sunday morning clean the dust bring it to church mm -hmm. we never read we never read it but bible clearly says you shall know the tree by the fruit by the fruit not by the gift many people are gifted they 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 say they 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 have a healing ministry they have prophetic ministry mm. they have deliverance ministry everything mm. but the heart is not submitted to god jesus said john 10:27 my sheep shall know my voice shall know my voice mm -hmm. so when we know the voice of god and when we know the voice of the shepherd you know if you are listening to me and if you know the voice of the shepherd mm. you will know that jesus loves you and you belong to him and he belongs to you so you shall know them by the fruit what is the fruit the bible says check them with the bible when every experience it should be within the, the framework of the bible yes and number 2 whether there is peace of god which passes all understanding guards your heart and mind in christ jesus mm. After, when somebody gives a prophecy you get disturbed man that's not from god and that should be inner witness the holy spirit is inside yes. he will give us this is when 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 john gave baptism to jesus he saw the heaven open the holy spirit descend like a dove and said this is my son we know my help he heard the voice of the father and when 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 we have an experience we should hear the voice of the father mm -hmm. yes you are doing this to do my will to 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 my perfect will mm -hmm. okay so you shall know by reading the bible you shall know the truth and the truth will so set, set you free. free so when you know the bible when you know the way when you know jesus the way the truth and life he will set us free mm -hmm. there's no other way we can escape all these things other than 
coming to Jesus. Okay, for those people who are possessed or mm. people who are teaching all these things, these yeah. practices, yeah. and uh, if they don't want to leave, yeah. they say, what I believe is true, and they don't want to leave, what will happen to them? Well, the Bible says, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, whoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He who believes is saved. Yes. He who does not believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, he is already condemned. They are on the way towards destruction. Mm -hmm. They are on the way to hell. They are on the way. Hell is not prepared for human beings. It is prepared for Satan. Mm -hmm. He does not want to go alone. He wants to take all these people with them. So, when you worship Satan, you go where Satan is. To mm -hmm. hell. If you worship Jesus, you come where Jesus is, heaven. Mm -hmm. Very simple. What is the message that you want to give tell to the, the people? Yeah, tell the people. You know, uh, a couple of months back, Bantai, yeah. I was in another country and uh, the witch doctors had come to the meeting. Really? Satanic, mm -hmm. satanic worshippers, leaders, not worshippers, the people, the practitioners, they are the witch doctors. They were sent there to stop my meeting by some of the top people in that city. Mm -hmm. So, I said, this man has come, why don't you go and stop the meeting? So, yeah, we can do it. And all the witch doctors came to the meeting. And I spotted them out. I said, you are a witch doctor and you come to stop the meeting, but you do not know what to do. Everything you are trying, nothing is working out. She said, yes, that's true. <laughs> you know what? Jesus loves you. <laughs> I went over and hugged the person. Mm. That person started crying. Mm. She said, nobody loved me. I am abandoned. I, I, I want to do good to people, but nobody liked me. But now I, I do all this evil thing and people like me. But I know that's not true love. But today when you hugged me, I felt the love of Jesus. I felt the love of God. There is a God who loves me. I am so happy. Mm -hmm. And, and said, I asked, do you want that God to deliver you? Yes. Immediately she said, Jesus, deliver me from Satan. On the spot, the person was delivered filled in the Holy Spirit and coming to church regularly preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. There was another witch doctor who came to my meeting. He brought all these artifacts, VG board, black one, this one, skull, lemon, you know, feng shui objects and all this stuff. And he said, I am sending astral energy against you, cosmic energy against you. He said all those things. And uh, I said, brother, let me show you my positive energy, <laughs> the energy of heaven. Receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. I just blew on him. The power of God came upon him. He f fell on the floor, rolling on the floor, foam coming out of his mouth. He said, brother, help me. I said, I cannot. <laughs> you just have to say, Jesus, please help me. <laughs> He's your brother. He's willing to help you. He said, Jesus, help me. He's screaming. Uh, immediately, I told him, say, Jesus, I, help me. Give, I give you my heart. I will serve you. He, he, on the floor, he was shaking. I said, do you want paralysis? You want blindness? You want death? He said, no, I want to live. Please, I want to live. <laughs> God touched him. He said, Jesus, help me. One word, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Like blind Bartimaeus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He received his eyesight. His life changed and he followed Jesus. This man cried, Jesus, help me. Nothing. I didn't tell him, come to church, do this, do that, change your name. No. You just say, Jesus, help me. He will come into your heart and you will become a child of God. You will become a temple of God. God comes to live in you. He did it. Jesus came, filled his heart. The deep, I mean, we don't have to cast out demons. When the light comes, darkness goes out. You don't, you don't say, darkness go out, I'm going to switch on the light. No, you switch on the light, darkness goes out. I would tell you, Bentai, there's an old English proverb, which I love so much. Mm. I keep often repeating it. It's better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling the devil is doing this, the devil is doing this, blaming this one, blaming that pastor, blaming the church, blaming everybody, Instead of blaming everybody, blaming the poor devil, why didn't you become the light? <laughs> and why didn't you light? Hmm. Why didn't you switch on the light? L read the word. Hmm. It brings illumination at the entrance of your word. It brings light. Psalms 119, 130, 130. Hmm. When the word of God gets into your head, into your heart, it brings light. And when the light comes, darkness goes out. Devil goes out. You do what God tells you to do. The devil cannot touch you because Luke 10, 19, Jesus said, Behold, I give you power and authority to trample Amen. upon serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. Nothing can by any means Amen. harm you. Amen. No Amen. devil can touch you, touch your oh, children, hallelujah. touch your family, touch your neighbors, touch, along, touch this nation. Amen. 
unless and until you give permission to the devil. Yes. You say, my foot devil, get out of my country, get out of my city. You kick him out and I say, Jesus, the light of the world, come into my life. When he comes in, the devil goes out by himself without even informing you. So you don't have to worry about Satan. Only thing is we need to make sure that Jesus comes into your heart, that that man, Satanist, became an evangelist preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. And God is doing it all. And I think that's the reason why God has brought me here to Sri Long, so, so that we can show to these young people, Jesus loves them. And there is a way to God. And God wants them to be happy, prosperous, good citizens, doctors, engineers, uh, uh, you know, politicians. Uh, uh, they can become great people, champions. But it's your responsibility as a parent, as a friend, who's watching all this, who know this is happening. If you keep quiet, be ignorant, and you don't take a step towards bringing these people to Jesus or bringing them to us, and we will help them, we will pray for them, then we are all responsible. You are responsible because you know it. There's one uh, uh, um, person called Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. He said, the violence of the wicked is because of the silence of the righteous. The violence of the wicked is because of the silence, silence of, the, of righteous. the righteous. The bad people do bad things because good people do nothing. Mm -hmm. If good people do something, the bad people stop doing it. Yes. So my simple instruction is to the viewers who are watching, God has sent us here. God has sent Mr. Bantai here in the city of Shillong. We are reaching out to you week after week, day after day. You know, every day the gospel is coming into your living room. But what are you doing? Don't ask, what will God do to me? Tell me, what are you going to do for God? Amen. Tell Amen. me what God has done everything. He shed the last drop of blood and he said, it's finished. There's nothing more I have to do. Mm. I've done everything I need to do to protect you. But what have you done for me? Have you come to me? Amen. Come to me. I will give you rest. I will give you the rest. I will give you all the best and I will give you the restoration. This is Jesus still knocking in your heart's door. Yes, amen. So, Pastor, it is very important for us to pray for people mm. because there is no solution without Jesus and there is no solution if, if we don't pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So, there are some people, I believe, who is watching this program, they, they want deliverance. Yeah. Some of the parents maybe, mm. if not fully being demonized, mm. yeah. They want yeah. deliverance and healing yeah. and also for their children and also for their loved ones and also for this land yeah. that healing will come and restoration will come. Sure. Yes, we'll pray for Let's that. Let's pray after, for yeah. I want to mention hmm. that Satan cannot come in suddenly. He comes little by little by little. If we entertain him. If we entertain him. If we go. Bible Ephesians 4.27 clearly says, do not give a foothold to the enemy. Yes. You give him a foothold, mm. he will make it a stronghold. Yes. So we, mm. we suggest the people also, the youth who is watching yeah. this program, yeah. mm. who is listening to all the satanic worship, yeah. burn all those cities and yeah. trample them, them yeah. under your feet so in throw the name them out. of Jesus. Yeah. And throw them out and you know, just uh, uh, yeah. stay free and come to Jesus who, who alone can protect you and from those demons. And those uh, who are having the songs in the mobiles and yeah. the pornography yeah. in the mobiles and all. Don't yeah. entertain Satan. Yeah. If you give room to enemy, an enemy will, if you give him an inch, he will take a mile. If you shake hands with the devil, he will chew your whole arm off. That's Satan. You give him an inch, it's like a story, the camel put the head into the tent and the old tent tore up. So that's what the devil is. He is no, he will not easily leave you or nor will he easily, uh, 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 you know, get away from you by just... Uh, uh, you saying, I don't want Satan. No, he will keep coming back. He will keep tempting you. He will keep coming back. The only one security is Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong and a mighty tower. Amen. The righteous run into it and they, they are, safe. are safe. Amen. Okay, let me pray for you, Father. Yes. I pray for the viewers who are watching. Yes, Lord. And their children and their family. I apply the blood of oh, Jesus. Shikha. I speak the blood of Jesus upon them. Yes, and Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Angels of God come into their house yes. and protect them. And whoever they are, they are watching at the sound of my voice. Let the evil spirits that are tormenting them subdue and submit to the voice of God, yes. voice of Jesus. Yes. Those children belong to Jesus. Yes. You cannot kill them. You cannot make them commit suicide. You, Satan, leave these children. Amen. They belong to Jesus. Amen. Those at the sound of my voice are watching in your home right now. 
the power of God is coming on you and Jesus is touching yes. you right now, Amen. healing you. You shall know the truth. The truth will set you free. Yes. Jesus said, I have come to make you free. Thank you for touching them. Thank you for healing them. Thank you for setting them free. Lord Jesus, thank you yes. for the miracle in their life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.